Hello second graders, this is Miss Kay and this week I will be reading a story to you called City Dog Country Frog. The author is Mo Willems and the illustrator is John Muth. So I hope you like it. Spring. City Dog didn't stop on that first day in the country. He ran as far and as fast as he could and all without a leash. City Dog spotted something he had never seen sitting on a rock. It was Country Frog. What are you doing? asked City Dog. Waiting for a friend, replied Country Frog with a smile. But you'll do. City Dog and Country Frog played together. City Dog was new to the country, so Country Frog taught him Country Frog games. Country Frog's games involved jumping and splashing and croaking. That was spring. Summer. City Dog didn't stop to admire the green, green grass. He ran straight for Country Frog's rock. I am going to do you a favor, said City Dog when he found Country Frog. I am going to teach you City Dog games. City Dog's games involved sniffing and fetching and barking. City Dog and Country Frog played until Country Frog was too tired to sniff and fetch and bark anymore. That was summer. Fall City Dog didn't stop to sniff the falling leaves. He ran straight for Country Frog's rock. What shall we play today? asked City Dog. Dog or frog games? Country Frog took a deep breath. I am a tired frog, replied Country Frog. Maybe we can play remembering games. City Dog and Country Frog sat together on a rock. They remembered their spring jumping and splashing and croaking. They remembered their summer sniffing and fetching and barking. That was fall. Winter. City Dog didn't stop to eat the snow. He ran straight for Country Frog's rock. City Dog looked for Country Frog. Country Frog was not there. That was winter. Spring again. Country Chipmunk spotted something she had never seen sitting on a rock. It was City Dog. What are you doing? asked Country Chipmunk. Waiting for a friend, replied City Dog sadly. Then he smiled, a froggy smile, and said, What you'll do? That was spring again.
The end.